Hello submarine friends, here's my new project. I'm building a landing craft to carry my new submarine that I just built. I have lots of time, I'm so far ahead of schedule. So this is a 36 foot steel flat bottom hull. It's from a paddle wheeler boat I used to have. So that end is already raked, I just have to close it in. And that gives me the front of the hull, which is the part that crashes into the beach, I guess. And I'm going to cut it off at 24 feet and weld a transom at that end. So I'm just going to abandon the original front of the hull. So I'm just going to cut the, start cutting the end of this, this hull in half. I got it cut off all the way around. Now I'm just going to yank it out. Hopefully it's all cut anyway. Well, that worked pretty good. You can see I'm a very hard guy on a lawn. That's why I don't have a great lawn over here. So I've been working pretty hard here and I've got the transom welded in. This used to be the front of the boat. As you saw earlier, I cut the whole front off. It was too long. And so I had to cap this end. This becomes the back of the boat. So I welded in a sheet of 1 8 plate all the way around, of course, and now I'm going to spin it around and do the front. Okay, this was the back of the boat originally. The paddle used to sit out here. So I cut the transom down, as you can see, and now I'm going to have the, the deck is going to slip from here over this and end up at this point. And then this will be filled in with the plate as well. So this will all be an air pocket inside the hull. So the idea is I'm going to put a big ramp on the front here which stops waves from going over the deck. Also, it folds down and the submarine can butt up to it and then it just gets winched right up the ramp and onto the deck. That's the theory anyways. Well, this is coming along fantastic. The ramp is built so the water level is about here. And so there's a gate here that folds down, which becomes the loading ramp for the submarine. So as you can see, it's coming along really good. I still have to put a sheet underneath here, fill that in. That won't take long, but I have to flip it over to do that. And then I'll start working on the cross members, then the deck, then the wheelhouse, and we'll be in really good shape. Well, you can see I'm progressing here nicely. I've put in all the 2x6 cross members. They're treated and I use the end cut paint wherever I cut the ends off. I would like to use steel. Steel would be better. Problem is steel is very heavy and it's very expensive. This was quite cheap. So I've laid these 2x6s. I've notched them into the cross members. I am bolting these all down, bolting this to this, and then I'm putting in a vertical piece to take the load right down to the cross member underneath. Plus these 2x6s are bolted to the vertical rib. And then I'm welding these little angle iron pieces under the 2x6s. So the angle iron piece takes the vertical load and the bolt simply holds it to the rib. So that's the progress so far. Okay, the front is all welded up. The back is all welded up. The cross members are in. I'm really doing good. I had to put a big patch here because there was an opening with a tunnel and that's for an azipod that never actually happened but it was built to have one. New plate welded in here. I had to weld up some corrosion spots. It's like little worm holes. So I welded them up. Now I'm going to take it out and flip it over and put the flotation in.